we're going to stop that, right? We're going to stop that habit. You probably do it. Do you do it? I don't know. You may be a beginner, but I want to try to stop this habit before it gets any worse. I have the attention span of a fly and I know some of you guys do too. So I'm going to make this short and sweet. I want to show you guys how to stop that habit. You may know your mind might be blown either way. You might not be thinking about it when you're playing. I understand you want to be able to place your fingers in the correct spots on the fretboard when you're playing. Understood. But one small little tip that I have for you guys, use the bass to your advantage. Use the anatomy of the bass to your advantage. 99% of basses have fret markers. The dots right on the top showing you where the frets are. See that? You might not be able to see it, right? You got the two dots for the 12th fret, the first dot for that ninth fret. So you see what I mean? Now, when you look down, you can just look at the top of your bass instead of trying to look over your bass. Because most times, nine times out of 10, you're trying to see exactly what fret you're on, right? Not only that, what string you're on, and I get that. It'll come more comfortable over time, switching strings, right? That's kind of why I don't recommend starting off with a lot of strings. So a lot of people say, oh, my, I started playing a six string first, or I started playing a, God forbid, a seven string first. Um, but I, I always recommend a smaller amount of strings so you don't get too confused. So you have four strings to work with. Now, using those fret markers, it's, it's just, it's like a cheat code. Now I'm looking down, I know I'm on the third fret. I'm looking down, now I know I'm on the ninth fret here. Looking down, I know I'm on the fifth fret, 12th fret, boom. I don't have to look over, like I can't even, like I can't even see the front of my fretboard. I can see it now because I'm in the camera, but I can't see it the way that I'm positioned in my posture right now. So practice doing that, practice understanding where your hand is using the fret markers. Use it, use it, use it. Not only that, you want to number the fret markers. You want to understand where these are. So if I'm on the third fret or the fifth fret, I know automatically the third fret, boom, first fret marker. Fifth fret, boom. That's the second fret marker on the top. Now, if you want to go a little bit further with this, we have a fretboard accelerator course inside of Base Nation, of Ca uh, Base Nation Academy. Uh, if you want to kind of speed this process up and understand the fretboard just a little bit better, we talk about the anatomy of the fretboard tips and tricks you can learn just to get that process or that learning process a little bit faster. Uh, that's why it's called Fretboard Accelerator. So you want to learn that link is going to be in the description. Base Nation Academy. We have that course for you. It's going to be perfect for this. But just one little tip that I wanted to show you guys. You don't have to look over. First of all, it's going to hurt your back, your posture and your position of your hands. You're going to be slanted all over the place. You don't want that. Anyway, that's it. That's all.